Welcome back, friends. This is the Retro-ish Gaming Critic, and we are continuing our Let's Play of Star Trek The Next Generation, Echoes from the Past, for the Sega Genesis. Now, as I mentioned last time, I've gone ahead and gathered all the minerals off-screen, so now what we're going to do is we're going to continue the story. Well, start the story, really. But before we do that, I would like to say that I'm not going to use any maps or guides or whatever else until potentially one area late later in the game, around the last third. Now, I won't use one for the mines when we come back here. But as you will see, they're very maze-like. There's an area late in the game that's even worse. It's, it's so much worse. If you haven't played the game, it's difficult to describe how bad it is. So I'm still debating whether or not I will use one. If I do, I will tell you. I'm going to try not to, but we'll see how that works out. It's... This game is mostly easy, but there are a few levels that aren't, and that's one of them. I shouldn't say levels per se. Where am I going? CODIS New 6, that's right. CODIS New 6. Um, now, I'm also probably going to not into very many battles, but I'm going to get into one here just, just to show you. Now, the first, uh, the uh, ye uh, yellow text is the incoming text. Now, you have, most of the time you have options of what you can say back to them, just by hitting left and right. Now, the first option is the diplomatic option. We're going to go with this option. Let's do it. Now, the combat is rather easy in controls. It's just using the D-pad to maneuver the, the ship. Uh... A button fires your uh, phasers, C button torpedoes. That's it. Now on the left of the screen, or right rather, my my bad, you will see a mock-up, more or less, of the Enterprise. Uh, the green ring are the shields, and they go from green to red as they as they take damage. Now the green bits in the ship itself are your hull, which I neglected to mention the importance of in the first video. That's right, the first video. It's incredibly important because your shields will, will fail. You can put all of your resources in, into them. And later on, you battle such powerful ships that they will fail. It's a guarantee. Now, as you can see, there's that blinking dot around the edge of the shield ring. That shows you where the enemy is or enemies are when you can't see them or when you're too far from them to, to see them. Yeah, they're going to hail us, but we're going to ignore them because, well, why not? See, the combat is really simple in, in the basic design. 
but it gets difficult later on when you have multiple uh, ships to, to fight. You won't fight, I believe it's more than three at a time. I believe it's three at a time. Okay, now after this we'd normally go to a star base to restock and uh, restock our, our photon torpedoes and get repairs and so on and so forth, but we don't need to. Because we would need to if our crew members had suffered any damage, but, but they don't suffer damage when they're on the ship. Which actually leads to an interesting, uh, an interesting thought. There is a a a, a working sick bay on the ship, but when your crewmates are injured on away missions, you have to get to a starbase to heal them. It's a thing. Who knows? Anyway, that was combat. I, again, I'll probably avoid them in the future, um, just because they aren't that interesting, and this game being what I would call an RPG light, you don't get anything from the combat other than a depletion of your photon torpedoes. That's about it. Alright, it is here. Um, pretty much everything that happens, the captain has something to say about it. So if you... Around half the time, it's to give you, the player, some kind of helpful hint. But sometimes it's just interesting. Like here. It's... Overall, this game has a very good feel of the Next Generation series about it. Um, even the storyline, as we'll see, is very... It feels very much like it, especially, I would say, in the middle seasons. So now what we're going to do is we're going to beam down. After I fix it. <laughs> yeah, that's one of the things. So what we'll do is, while I'm here, take a little bit out of engines, touch out of weapons, dump that into shields, which I've evened out, and then we'll take all of that, dump that into the transporter. And now we get the fun part of watching that orange bar shrink tick by tick. Exciting, isn't it? <laughs> um, as we'll see later on, it gets to be quite a juggle sometimes. In fact, if you don't know what you're doing, especially if you didn't know to, to plan ahead and dump some resources into things beforehand, It, it can be an insane jugg juggling act. It really can be. Um, see, now that I think about it, I can't remember if life support is that necessary to put a little bit into beforehand. I think it might be. So we'll see. But everything else is important, yes. If you, if say your navigation gets destroyed, you can't go anywhere. But that won't matter in the middle of a battle. That's the important part, is what, is what to focus on in the middle of a battle. Which are, as, I, as, as, you, as you see here, the whole little bit in life support just in case, engines, weapons, and shields. Those are the important ones. And, well, it, I mean, it's about that time, so we're going to wait until the next video to actually beam down. See you then, folks.